good morning students and uh, continuation of the pathogenetic virus and uh, yesterday we have dealt with the rabies virus and uh, today i am going to continue with the so other virus that is japanese encephalitis virus okay so so what do you mean by japanese encephalitis virus okay so here what is happening here means mostly so the japanese encephalitis so which was uh, so attacked by the mosquito borne encephalitis okay so it is also co called as a uh, japanese b encephalitis or arbovirus b encephalitis or the mosquito borne encephalitis or russian autonomal encephalitis brain fever or the summer encephalitis so this is uh, other names that they are called as a japanese encephalitis okay so it is uh, considered to the family of the arbovirus infection so which was mostly caused by the horses pigs humans okay so mostly this uh, type of uh, japanese encephalitis and it is going to be transmitted by the mosquito burn okay so through mosquito where the transmission of infection is going to be starts and where the breeding of the mus uh, the breeding of the infection is going to be starts from the horses pigs and the human being okay so mostly these kind of uh, infection we can see in the zoonotic diseases okay so what is the family of this the arbo virus okay so these virus first we'll see what is the characteristics of present in this process so already we have discussed that and it is a transmitted by the insect vector so that is by what and uh, by the mosquito borne diseases okay so it is not only in the particular area and uh, worldwide distribution is more but uh, in the tropical than in temperature zones and where this uh, japanese encephalitis is more we can see okay and where in india so we can see the more than 10 or known to produce a human diseases only other than the conditions okay so what is a virus classification means so what is a arbovirus and uh, the japanese encephalitis family considered as okay so it is a family the virus family is called as a flavi viridae or the genes is called as a flavi virus okay so what is the structure of these virus okay so uh, virianians nothing else but the virus okay so it's it is a spherical in shape and it consisting of a lipoprotein enveloped particle see here and uh, it's a lipid membrane particle it is going to be there and some glycoproteins and uh, so nucleocapsid so covered with the nucleocapsid is going to be enveloped okay so this is the structure of the flavi virus okay so it is about 40 to 50 nanometers in diameter and uh, so three structural and seven non-structural proteins it is going to be have okay and it is a single standard rna is going to molecule is going to be present and where so these antigen structure has one uh, hemagglutinations and a uh, complement fixation on the neutralizing antigen so this virus is having okay so these are the components of protective against the other substances okay so that is about the virus classification so whenever you are seeing this flavi virus under the microscopic structure and uh, you are going to observe in this mode okay and uh, so some of the taxonomy of some important arbovirus okay so here and uh, we have seen some of the arbovirus are flavi virus right so the japanese encephalitis is going to be cause a flavi virus but the family of arbovirus is going to be considered the different overall five families are there that is toga viridae flavi viridae and uh, bunya viridae rio viridae and uh, the hebdo viridae so these are the five family causes of the members so here so different kind of species is going to be cause different kind of disease condition now at present the flav the arbovirus family is what flavi viridae so which is the fav genus is what the flavi virus and what is the disease condition it is causing japanese encephalitis okay so it is also caused dengue or different kind of disorders okay so that is regarding of arbo virus so what is epidemiology means here so the geographical distribution host and the transmission and morbid and mortality so i'll discuss in detail regarding of this process okay so geographical distribution so already we discussed that on the tropical regions where the um, temperature zones or endemic so we can easily detect this kind of an process and uh, we can see this reduced prevalence in japan but uh, has not occurred in usa but in the uh, but india it is now present okay so here the 
just the graphical representation of map they have explained in the different areas and next one is a host okay host okay so in the host and where the uh, japanese encephalitis virus is going to be staged right so horses okay so already discussed that horses pigs okay and some other birds okay so in the horses we'll see that it is a primary effect domestic animal where we can see that japanese encephalitis okay or some of the other liquid like donkey so also is susceptible to get the these kind of family infections and next one is the pigs okay and where the infected mosquito vector and when it bites a pig and it is going to be acts like a amplifiers means amplifiers means what in between the mosquito and the pig and it is the mosquito is acting as a uh, transmitter and the pig is going to be acting as a receiver okay so that for and where the birds is going to be acts like a family rda means uh, the japanese encephalitis virus of the birds okay so this is the type okay so humans are the vulnerable to this disease and humans are dead and host also because they are also acting as a carriers and how you are going to transmit this infections means so uh, late summers or early autumns and you have these uh, type of japanese encephalitis uh, you can easily get the, and then some of the northern temperature areas also they are going to get these kind of infections and whereas in spring seasons and so you can see some of the increased vector activity leads to spill over the infection like for example swine by mosquito vector shared by birds and the different kind of organisms okay like for example pigs horses and human transmission is going to be there for this process and where the continuous cycle between birds swine and the mosquito will be so continuous for one person transmission of infection to the other person and uh, next one is a uh, actual transmission of genfenis emphasis occurs by what mosquito so that is what is a mosquito that is affecting the so culus okay tritonorcus okay so it has a wide host range like it is going to affect the birds horses swine and the humans so this is only the so mosquito so that is going to be affect the transmission of infection and uh, when it is going to be there means and whenever the flood uh, flooded fields like for example fish ponds rice paddies and whereas the ditches are there so there you there you can see so these kind of infections okay and the most active at the uh twin light hours okay like for example like where the temperature is more in that okay so there they are going to have a more type of infections okay so this is the so culex mosquito okay so that is very so dangerous mosquito which is most affecting by the virus of japanese encephalitis okay like for example like a typical breeding habitat for mosquitoes okay stagnation of water and here just they are explaining the life cycle of the japanese encephalitis okay so here they are giving the uh mosquito it's a bird cycle and from birds it is going to be affected or it is going to be affect through the human being or through the horse or the cow it is going to be affected okay so different kind of classification they have been differentiated here and next one is a morbidity and mortality okay so if now we are explaining the epidemiology last epidemiology so first one is a swine right so like for example that some uh, pigs okay so birds transmission of mortality is more and the death rare in adult pigs okay and whereas an equine means the horses okay so where we can see morbidity is 2% and whereas in mortality we can see is a 5% and when humans and we can see mortality 5 to 35% is rare and serious neurological sequence like paralysis is we can paralysis of brain death you can see in that 32 to 33 to and 50% you can see this kind of mortality and morbidity cases okay so still now we have seen regarding of epidemiology okay so that is what is epidemiology that yes that is geographical distribution we have seen and host and we have seen transmission and morbidity and the mortality so now we will go for the pathophysiology okay and uh, how it is going to be transmitted so already we had they have given a diagrammatical representation that and where the mosquito is going to be the insect the virus enters the body through the bite of the insect vector and after that and when the mosquito bites the mus uh, human be human body 
so what is going to be the where in the re system means endoreticular system it is going to be multiplies and viremia means virus of various duration is going to be starts growing okay and this virus is going to be transported to the target organ that is brain and uh, from the blood and it is going to be transmitted to the via blood and to the brain it is going to be uh, pa passes and where the virus is going to be proliferate and damage your neural tissues okay and it is going to be show some of the neural manifestations or the central nervous system manifestations they are going to show okay so what are the clinical manifestations you can see that the incubation period is how many days 5 to 15 days and whenever the uh, virus is going to be infected okay so only 1 in 300 to and 1 in 1000 infections develop in the encephalitis okay so rest of the encephalitis or the asymptomatic diseases okay and these clinical manifestations is going to be divided into how many types three types that is prodromal stage and acute encephalitic stage and the late stage and the sequelae okay so in the prodromal stage and the person will be suffering with the fever headache and a malice okay and this we can see in one to six days of period you can see this kind of prodromal stage and acute encephalitis stage means and where fever that is uh, 38 to 40.7 degree centigrade and uh, you can see and uh, nocturnal rigidity means throat infection you are going to have and the focal central nervous system signs and symptoms you can see convulsions seizures and the altered sensorium progressive means uh, the alertness will not be there for the individual okay so maybe see the cases to coma also in this acute encephalitis stage and the last late stage and sequence you can see that temperature and touch normal level and neurological signs become a stationary okay so that you are going to see in this clinical features okay so whether they are asking that the case fatality rate so case fatality rate means and uh, whenever when the person affected with the japanese encephalitis whether there is a mortality or morbidity rates they are going to ask so here they are explaining that and higher in children means 55 percent to or more than the virus is going to be higher in children so 30 to 50 percent and the people the infection may be developed some paralysis brain damage or the other serious permanent sequelae okay and average period between the onset of illness is what death is about nine days is possible and uh, whenever the infection is a uh, uterus infection possible and abortions of fetus is normal and uh, what are the so differential diagnosis so here and uh, with this japanese encephalitis symptoms and they are going to make a different kind of uh, diagnosis formation like for example and instead of uh, Japanese encephalitis they are going to diagnose like meningitis and some of the febrile uh, convulsions rise syndrome rabies virus and cerebral malaria okay malaria toxic encephalopathy so these are the diagnosis they are going to diagnose but it is a false diagnosis okay so what is the diagnosis so, means laboratory test they are going to do here means first clinical symptoms they are going to observe the central nervous systems uh, observation they are going to do and uh, tentative diagnosis like for example antibiotic titer like elisa test they are going to do and igm in serum or the csf fluid they are going to detect and uh, they are going to so definitely diagnose like isolate virus isolation they are going to do by the csf sample and the brain culture okay so brain tissue culture they are going to do and uh, no specific treatment is there only the supportive care only they can give for this japanese encephalitis so what is the supportive care they can do here the first one is a sanitary profile access so sanitary means water and housing of animals and indoor is screened stable can provide a protection from the mosquitoes okay and whereas an in, uh, insecticides you have to use repellents and the fans also provided for the protection against the infections and uh, prevention and control so how you can prevent and control the disease means like wearing a protective measures and the mosquito elimination so you can make out and the travel is going okay so they have to wear a vaccination is very very important and uh, avoid going to the areas with water accumulation like for example rice fields dust okay where the water is stagnated so there you have to avoid going the areas and you have to wear the light colored or long sleeved cloth or the trousers you have to wear and apply mosquito repellents and where your body part is going to be exposed okay as showing in the picture and uh, you have to make out that 
so nets okay so mosquito nets you have to make and uh, coils incense to repel mosquitoes and instant mosquitoes nets to doors and windows to the mosquitoes cannot get the mosquitoes into the houses and uh, whatever the dust bins are there and it should be covered with the okay lid and uh, change water of plants okay so when you are doing a plantation and the change of plant once a week is very very important so no stagnated water should be seen in the pots and uh, your drainage blocks everything should be covered and whereas an um, uh, water container should be cleaned and strong tanks everything wells should be covered tightly and uh, whatever the top of the defective ground surfaces okay accumulation of stagnated water is there so everything should not be there you have to remove the area where the stagnated water is going to be present and the thing that you are going to make is a japanese vaccine is needed okay so these vaccination have a three types of japanese encephalitis vaccines that are so mouse brain derived purified and inactivated vaccine and uh, cell culture derived inactivated vaccine and cell culture derived live attenuated vaccine okay so these are the three vaccines they are going to give against the japanese encephalitis so what is the contraindication here with the japanese vaccine is a allergic reaction is a severe okay so and also so the infant below 1 year of age is not indicated to give the japanese encephalitis vaccine and it is contraindicated and for pregnancy mother also it is going to be contraindicated and economic economical impact we can see in high mortality rate in piglets okay or horses mortality rate is increased and human uh, the medical cost of the immunization to take the medical treatment is high okay so that is regarding of overall japanese encephalitis virus okay thank you